Hey guys, it's uh, No Social Life Man. So it, I know this is probably the first time that you've heard my voice, but uh, yeah. So I just wanted to bring you guys a video actually today, uh, talking about a story from my middle school. Yes, my middle school. And I know that sounds kind of stupid, but uh, this one is just really, really funny in my opinion. I thought I would tell you guys. But I'm not going to disclose any names or personal information for obvious reasons. So let me just get into it. So there were these two guys like this one time. And they they both went to my middle school. They actually go to my high school. And they they made a lot of stupid decisions in the past. And I'm going to explain the first one. So the first one, he's just basically, let's say his name is uh, Kevin. So Kevin basically is, is the fat Albert of the school. He's basically this giant obese guy and he he tries to act like a wannabe gangster even though everyone who lives in my area has it good everyone who lives in my area has it good they all come from like they they all come from families that make like a lot of money because my i come like my community it's it's pretty affluent you have to be making a lot of money to live here so yeah and there was this one so he basically kevin he made a stupid decision before, like, I think, back in 7th grade, before 8th grade. And he decides to go and ride in the middle of the street with a with a bike. And without, without any protection on. And he's also wearing a... Or no, he's not wearing a helmet, but um, he has his iPhone with him, basically. And he decides to ride in the middle of the street. And there's a car that didn't... So he's riding down the street filming an Instagram video like like an idiot, obviously. And he he sees basically this like he thinks this is a smart idea. So he basically rides on the middle of the road. He gets hit by a car. I am d- not sure if he didn't see the driver or if the driver saw him, but I know he got hit by a car and he actually had to go in and get surgery because of the dumb decision that he made. And He also got in trouble for a few other things, and let's talk about the other guy. The other guy was like some wannabe gangster, I think. Let's just let's just call him Richard, even though he that's the whitest name ever. He's not white. He's he's actually uh black, but he is he's a wannabe gangster. He's a wannabe, and he he likes to complain a lot. And so let me just get down to what happened. And I came out of school one day, just came out of what was it? I think it was... I think it was math. And I came out of my math class, I walked out, walked up to my bus, and I go and sit in my bus, and I look out the window, and there's just this giant crowd of people just like... just like standing there in the front yard of my school. And they basically... Richard and Kevin are going to fight. And they're both like talking crap back and forth, and it's just so funny. But, um, yeah. And I'm just, I'm just watching out the window looking at this, just smiling and laughing and just like... But I'm hoping that none of them are going to get hurt, because obviously I don't want that. And, yeah, so basically, he goes, they, they, um, I think it was Kevin who threw the, the, the fat guy who threw the first punch, and then... They just start getting into a brawl, and people start surrounding them and going, "Oh, he kicked your ass, whatever." And then, as soon as I see, and then as soon as that happens, two resource officers from my school come out and just, and there's someone in the crowd who just yells, "Run!" And I just hear it so loudly, and they all just scatter, and they all get away, except for like, um, except for Kevin, because. I don't know if he was too slow to run away, but, you know, he didn't get away in time. And basically, he he gets caught, and I think they, uh, they uh, get the other guy the next day. But, yeah, so it was really funny. And everyone who posts about it on social media got in trouble, too, I think. I don't use social media because it's, it's just stupid. That's how people get in trouble. And, you know, I'm not about... I don't like getting in trouble. I'm like one of those... I, I just want to do, like go to school and, you know, get work done, but, yeah, so they, they got into a fight, and after that, um, uh, Richard, the, the other guy, the skinnier gangster wannabe, he, uh, he actually joins my football team during my freshman season, he's actually pretty good, and he, 
I th he it looks like he cleaned himself up a little bit besides the ugly looking Gucci belt that he wears and Kevin Kevin just keeps getting in trouble now this guy um, he got in trouble with my vice principal actually he goes and just does something I don't know what he did but I was in my bus like near the end of my uh, near the end of my freshman year and he gets he walks out of the building and is and there's a resource officer falling behind him including my vice principal and my, let me just give you some context on my vice principal he's a guy who is not to be screwed with this this guy is like i i personally um i don't know how to put it, but i i don't like how he does things but i do have to give him credit for being a good principal he keeps everyone in line he does his job well so he's he does a pretty good job at what he does, and he actually, they, they, like, Kevin basically, he's trying to get away from them, and I don't know what he did wrong, and that's none of my business, but, and then he just leans up against the wall because they, they stop him, and they, they walk him back inside the building. Now, I'm assuming he got detention or something, or he got in trouble, I don't know, but this, to me, it was just funny, because, you know, this, this guy just keeps making stupid choices, and, you know, don't you think you would learn the first time after, after like getting caught in a fight and then you know you possibly get charged with like assault or something so yeah um but yeah I just wanted to tell you that story because at the time I was just laughing my ass off at that and uh, I I'm gonna bring you guys some more stories so I hope you're ready for those too but uh yeah Richard and Kevin yep getting into fights and uh Kevin's still getting in trouble, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys later.